it's Elsa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you guys with a hair curling tutorial. So I'm just going to be breaking down for you everything you need to know about curling your hair from products to technique to styling. I got you. So I'm going to just be showing you how I achieve these really loose, effortless looking curls and it's really easy to do. So hopefully by the end of this video, you will know how to curl your hair if you don't already. So if you want to know how I go from this to this, then just keep on watching. So the one inch curling iron that I'm using is from Babyless Pro. It looks like this. And I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested so you can check it out. And I'm just gonna start by explaining curling my hair without it plugged in. So first I'm gonna take a section of hair probably around an inch or so. Um, if you want it more loose, use a bigger piece of hair. If you want it more tight and more narrow and small curls, then use a smaller piece of hair. So I'm gonna take this piece of hair and I'm going to use the iron and open the clamp. And the clamp, because I'm going away from my face, I'm gonna make it on top. So I don't want it at the bottom, I'm gonna put it on top. And I'm gonna put it into the barrel. I'm gonna start in the middle of the hair. Don't start from the bottom because then you're gonna be putting a lot of unnecessary heat on the ends of your hair, which you really don't want for split ends and just dry hair in general. It's just very damaging. Um, so start in the middle. Because my hair is on this side, I'm gonna follow the curve by wrapping this way. And you see how it does that instead of going this way, you're like, you're gonna get that clamp mark if you go the opposite direction. So make sure you're just following that little piece of hair that's sticking out. Make sure you're following that direction. And then again, I'm just going to feed it through and then continue wrapping until I have all my hair that I want wrapped. And then, you know, I leave a piece because I don't really want it to be super, super curled. But if you're going for those really tight curls, then you would definitely want to curl this piece. And then you're just gonna open the clamp and let down slowly, and then you'll be left with that curl. A lot of people can do it on one side, but then when they try the other side, they're a little confused about the direction. So I'll hopefully try to clarify that for you by showing you the other side. Again, I'm putting the clamp part on the top of the hair and then starting in the middle, not starting at the bottom. And then I'm going to follow the direction of this hair. So this direction or this hair is going that way. So I'm going to curl that way. So I'm just following the natural direction of the hair. And then I'm just going to let the iron do the work by me just twisting it and then just using the clamp to feed the hair through. And then I like to curl away from my hair. So, you know, I would probably leave um, the piece going that way, not going this way. So going out, you're gonna leave your hair with a curl that is away from the face. And I think it just, you know, kind of opens up your face. So that's why I like to do it. And you'll see soon enough what I mean once I actually have the iron on. And then you're just gonna release it after, you know, however long you think is necessary. And then you'll be left with a curl. So now I'm gonna plug this in. So it's actually hot and I will see you in a little bit. The iron is all heated up and I've just sectioned off my hair. So now I'm just gonna use my iron and I have it at 330 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the medium heat setting on this particular iron. So what I like to do is take a section of hair and then put the rest in the back so that I can just focus on one piece of hair at a time. It's less overwhelming that way. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take my iron and again, like we said before, I'm gonna open the clamp and put the clamp part on top. I'm gonna put it in the middle and then I'm going to follow the direction of the hair and then just curl that way. So it's going that way, so I'm gonna curl that way and then continue to just roll the iron and then use the clamp to feed the hair through. And then like I said, I like it away from my face. So I'm gonna leave this part away from the face and I like to leave a little part untouched just so that it can look more effortless. And then I'm gonna pull down and there we have our curl. And the good thing about curls is you can make them as loose or as bouncy as you want. So I tend to make them more bouncy at first just because my hair tends to fall out um, over time. So, you know, if you don't like it this 
curled, then you can always just brush through it later. Do the same thing just so I can show you one more time on this side. We're gonna open the clamp, make it in the middle, curl in the direction that the hair is going, then just wrap the hair around the curling iron by just rotating it. You're not manually wrapping it. You're just slightly twisting the iron. Then I'm gonna release by opening the clamp. And there we go, we've got another curl. So I'm gonna continue the process on this side and I'll see you for this side. Okay, so I finished curling this side of my hair. Now I'm gonna show you the opposite side just so you can see it in action. Open the clamp, put the clamp part on top, and then start in the middle and push the hair to the very bottom of the barrel and then start twisting in the direction that the hair is going. And then I'm gonna use the clamp to um, open the barrel so I can feed the rest of my hair through. Pull down and then we're left with a curl. This one was a little more loose, which is totally fine because I like to think of it as the bottom hair is like what's not really gonna be seen because you're just gonna put hair on top of it. So honestly, looser curls at the bottom of your hair is totally fine. All right, so I finished the bottom section. So I just took some of the hair from the top and put it down. So I'm having a total of three sections, the bottom, middle, and then the top. Um, I think it's just easy this way. Um, if you have thinner hair, it might not be necessary, but for me, I just like having it in those sections. So you're just gonna do your best to kind of curl the pieces that aren't curled, and then of course you you might find some stray pieces here and there, but that's totally fine. So I'm gonna do this one more time. Now I'm gonna go a little quicker, just so you can see that it really doesn't take that long. You know, once you get the hang of it, I just did it slowly so that you could see the process. Sometimes I'll gently feel it. If it's warm, then I will release and I gently pull down. And then I'm left with a nice curl like this. And then again, for that curling away from the face, you're just gonna leave the end where um, outside. So not this way, but this way. And that will ensure that your curl is facing that way. So I'm gonna continue this process and then I will see you for the top section of my hair. Okay, so I finished the middle section and now I've just brought down the top section. And this is where I would say the curls are like, quote, more important just because they are visible more than the bottom section. Same thing, but just make sure that I really do away from my face and also make sure that I leave a good chunk that is uncurled at the bottom just for that effortless look. And then we've got that. I just happened to end up with a really small piece. To me, it's very damaging to my hair to use that small of a piece in the actual, you know, um, barrel because I just feel like it's, I don't know, I just feel like it's like ripping my hair. So I personally don't like to do that. So what I'll do instead is I'll actually use the barrel like a wand. So you're gonna wanna put it behind so that it's curling away not toward. So I'm gonna put the barrel behind. This is a little more uncomfortable, but it's fine. I'm just gonna wrap the hair around and then again, curl away and then I release and there's a curl. So that is another way you can do the curls. Um, so let me know if you'd like to see a video where I do my whole hair, like using an iron, but using it as a wand. If you'd like to see that, let me know in the comments because I've also done that and it looks really pretty as well. I just have these front pieces to do and I wanted to do them like in real time just to show you because you know there is a thing that like the front pieces are like the most important pieces so I did want to just show you how I do that so I just have about this much hair so I'm probably going to divide it into two curl away from my hair and this is a smaller section so I'm going to make sure that I don't leave it in as long so again I've got this we're curling away from the face and then I'm just going to let go 
like that. And it's nice and loose, so it kind of opens up the face. So I'm just gonna do a quick check and make sure that everything looks okay. I might do redo a few pieces and then I'll see you back here. Okay, so it looked pretty good. I will say I did miss a few pieces that were still stick straight because my hair is naturally straight. On this side, it seemed like it was a little lower on this side compared to this side. So I'm just gonna redo just the beginning, just a small piece of hair so that I'll make sure the curl starts higher up in this strand. And release it like that. That way you see how the curl starts about the same as the other side so it's a bit more symmetric but for me i really like the little opening that little you know curve down and then up as far as styling it's really up to you you can add hairspray to it um but for me i just like to leave it natural just so i can fall out even more and just make it look even more you know loose um but you know if you're going to some like all day event or something then totally put hairspray in i know especially weather can play a factor into you know how your hair holds up you could brush through it more to make it look even more effortless but i just kind of like to fluff my hair give it a little bit of volume you know you can tease it you can put hairspray whatever you enjoy <laughs> So this is kind of like the front, and then I will turn it in this way. And this is the back. That is how I curl my hair with a curling iron, and I really hope this was helpful to some of you who might be wanting to learn how to do this. I know it doesn't seem that hard like once we learn it, um, but definitely at first it can be a little tricky, so feel free to leave comments down below if you have any additional questions that I did not answer in this video. I will get back to you, but I really hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And let me know you know what kinds of videos you'd like to see i was thinking you know like an autumn slash winter makeup look possibly thank you so much again for watching and i will see you in my next video very soon bye Lost in the